you, you were telling me? <laughs> so this is the California Reptile and Invertebrate Society table. We're a society that's basically an educational society to promote awareness about reptiles and invertebrates, especially California natives. And we were about keeping them and actually finding them in the wild, which is field herping. And that's not a California native, probably. <laughs> no, this is a uh, viper boa. Uh, viper boas are from the Solomon Islands, oh. and uh, these, it's an archipelago north of Australia. They, they're called viper boas because they look like venomous vipers that can be found on the island. They certainly do. Yeah. You think it's a case of uh, mimicry? Yep, it's probably a case of Batesian mimicry or yep. Batesian mimicry, where an animal looks or acts like another animal that's venomous or right. poisonous in order to evade predators or to not be bothered. Now, um, you, you have a website, I see, but uh, you're not like a, a commercial outfit or anything like that. It's just more of an educational. Our website is an ORG, so it's calris.org. Okay. An yeah. ORG, okay, yeah. yeah. We're uh, C A L R I S, by the way. Yep. Calris, so that's California Reptile and Invertebrate Society. I'm going to have to be talking to you because uh, I'm a, a big uh, herb guy from when I was a tiny toddler. And I collected in the Irvine Ranch, and now I'm up in Upland. Oh, nice. And I used to collect some snakes that you've probably never seen, I don't think are existing anymore, the patch nose snake. You ever heard of that? I caught one of those on campus in, in Orange County when I was in elementary school. Wow. Patch nose snake. I've never seen one since. And also the, the rear fang night snake. Oh, nice. I caught on the coastline between Laguna and Corona del Mar. Some people still find them, but they're really, really rare. Very like rare. Yeah. Unfortunately, due to the urban sprawl, a lot of different species get extirpated because their habitat's gone. And ringneck snakes we used to catch in we Corona del Mar. We have ringneck snakes around here on the Cal Poly campus. Do you really? I found them before, yeah. Is that so? Yeah, I found them in the late fall, early spring under rocks. Really? There was also one that was found inside of a vending machine. Wow. Yeah. Now, I'd like to get a hold of one of those. They're not protected, are they? No, they're a common snake. They're just uncommonly they're found. They're secretive. They're very secretive. Yeah, they like feeding on uh, Batrachosep salamanders. Oh, the, yeah. the worm salamander? Yeah, the slender salamander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, they love them so much that if you find one and you hold one on your hand, yeah? they'll crawl right under your hand and bite the salamander and wow. start eating it. Yeah. God, I'd like to get one of those. And the rosy boa over there, that's a local species. Or is that the rosy? Um, that's a Mexican rosy boa. Oh, Mexican. Boa. It looks a little more contrast than the regular rosy boa. Yeah. 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 Same species, though. And California king snake, how's, this, how's that doing? Uh, they're doing pretty well. Uh, California king snakes, uh, like gopher snakes, they tend to adapt better to people being around. Oh yeah. Uh, they're not as, as um, they're not as hardy as king snakes in regard to developing. But the fact that they live mainly underground and they use rodent burrows yeah. uh, has helped them out a lot. Since whenever wherever there are people, there's rodents in multitude. Yeah. How about the uh, desert variety with the black and white? How's that doing? Those are doing pretty well. I've gone road cruising uh, in the past, uh, last month, yeah. and we found lots of them. Yeah. I'd like to get one of those. <laughs> I'll have to talk to you later. Hey, thanks a lot. That's no the, uh, one more time, California Reptile Invertebrate Society, calris.org. Thanks yeah. a lot, buddy. No problem.